Hello. Hello, people. Hello, hello. Thank you. Thank you for liking the design. Today, we are going to be making this mermaid skirt. Yeah, I hope you can hear me. If you can hear me, let me know in the comment section. And remember to give me a thumbs up. I hope you can see my my paper. Yeah. So in my previous video, I made how to make this skirt pattern. How to make this smaller one. The half inch, the quarter um, measurements, as you can see. So I am going to be using this because if I use the bigger one, the full scale, you will not see all my tutorials. So I had to reduce this, make it to a smaller scale so that you'll be able to see it. So I'll be dropping the link on how to make this skirt pattern. I've already made the skirt pattern. So all you need to do is you follow, go to my, you go to my your video and um, check how to make um, this skirt pattern. I'll drop that in the link after the LS. So after making the skirts, this is the skirt pattern. After making it, the very first thing you have to do is you trace out your skirt. You have to trace out your skirt. For me, I have traced this one. As you can see, first of all, what you have to decide is the, you have to make a straight line. Remember, in the skirt pattern I made, you will see that this place, I hope you can see, here, there is a line here, there is a straight line here before you get this curve, the skirt curve. So that line is the line we are going to be taking our measurements, our measurements from, not from the curve there. So let me show you what I mean. If you square out like so, you place this, here, making sure that straight line aligns with your line. And this is the center front. So when you align it, you now trace out your pattern for the front part. So I have already traced this out. This is the front, this is the back. I have traced everything out. So this is the front. Front. And this is the center front. Is the center front fold. You work on fold. But depending on the design you're working on, some design you might need to open it up. It that means you're going to mirror the two sides out and you know have the two sides open it depend, depending on the style you're making but for this one we are not we are going to be working on fold center front will be on fold now for you to trace out the back who do we have in the building thank you claire Thank you very much. Oh, Gabriella, welcome. Welcome. I appreciate. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much for coming around. So for the back, what you have to do is you square out. Again, you have to square out. And then you place your pattern. 
you place your pattern there. This is the center back, the back where the zip is. We have not added any sewing allowance to this. So you square this out and trace out your pattern. Remember I said this line, this line, you have to make sure you follow the squared out line. So you place it there like so and trace out your pattern. So we have traced this out. The next thing we have to do is to decide on the length of the dress, of the skirt. So this skirt is going to, we're working, it's going to be free on the lower part, like a, a trumpet. So it means we're going to be shaping this skirt. So the length I am using, meanwhile, this is a size, 10, UK size 10, UK size 10, which is um, US size six. So what the length I'm working with is 45 inches. I'm going to be working with length 45 because you, when you have to consider the, the, the length of the dress when with the length of the skirt when you're wearing it, when you're wearing your heels to boot it. Because some people mostly have their length as 42. But when you add your heels to this, you have um, 43 and a half or thereabouts. Then you add your sewing allowance. So that's why I got this 45.5 inches. So the next thing we have to do is this is the this is the hip line. Let me mark that. This is the hip line. So what you're going to be doing is you have to bring down for you to shape the the skirt. You have to, from that line I told you that you squared out, you have to bring, come down 18 inches. This 18 inches is on your knee. You know, when your skirt wants to grab your knee. So on that place, we are going to be shaping that there. So we have dropped this down 18 inches and we're going to be coming in one inch. And that is it, like so. And so you're going to also mark from your hip line, you're going to be dropping it down three inches. And I'm going to be dropping that like so here. When you drop it, you're going to be connecting this to this. So with your hip curve, you do that. You connect this to this. Now you are going to add some inches to your hem, which is going to be giving you your flare. So I'm going to be adding six inches to my flare. You can, this should be the minimum. You can add as much as you want. But for this, I prefer to add six inches because I'm going to still work further to get more flare. So I add six inches to this. And I'm going to be connecting this to this. So now, if you notice, from here to here is 27.5. So we're going to be working with that to make sure we have an even line. So we're going to be getting... 7.5 as you can see to our 27.5 is here others might want to leave it there and it is not the same thing it will it, your skirt will look funny so you're going to be covering this like so here so as you can see the shape of the skirt is already coming out so we are going to be also doing this to the back remember this is the zip side this is a zip. 
and this is inside. Also, remember there is no sewing allowance in this. I've not added any form of sewing allowance. Who do we have in the house? So, now we are going to be working on the length of the skirt at the back. Remember I told you this is going to, if you look at the picture on the thumbnail, you will notice that there is a tail, it's looking, the back is looking longer. So we are going to be adding that to this. Again, we come to the side. This is the side of the back. We drop it 18 inches. Oh, I made a quarter scale, um, ruler for myself because of this so 18 inches we drop it there again three inches from the hip line so that you have an even curve on your hip and then you come in one inch you connect this with your hip curve Now, remember our length, the length of our dress, our skirt is 45.5. So we're going to be bringing this down 45.5 on the hemline to the side. And we're going to be giving it flare six inches, just like we did in the front. And we connect that. Now again, you check it to make sure your you have a good curve on your hem. Twenty seven point five. You go that way. Twenty seven point five. Actually, you can actually take your, your pencil back to give you the nice curve that you're looking for. If, you're, if your ruler can be straight, you know, you can get the curve you want. So on the back side, where the zip is supposed to be, we have a new person in the block. Who do we have here? Ndunim M, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section and I'll be able to answer any question you ask. So, on the... Now, this is where the... the we have the tail on the back. So, I am going to be making the back to have five inches longer. So we're going to be having, this was 44 and a half. We have five inches, it will give us 49 and a half. And we're going to be dropping that down. There. I will connect this now. I'll connect it later. Let me work on the shape of the back. So on the back, we'll drop down 16 inches. You know this side was 18, but on the back, you're going to be dropping to 16 inches. You know why? Because if you drop it on the same length, 18, 18 inches, you, when you, you will not be able, the client will not be able to work well. So that's why you have to come up with two inches. And so again, we drop down three inches. But this time around, this was one inch, this was one inch. But this one, we're going to be making it 1.5. So you have that very good grab on your hips so that your butt will be able to come out. 
and you connect this like so. So on the hem, we are going to be adding nine inches to the hem. And you connect that. So as you can see, you can see that we're already having our tail kind of shape. But if you're working on this, you will not actually get the same thing you have on my on the thumbnail. So we are going to be working further on this. So let me connect this. So now, um, this can, you can make do with this if you're doing an A-line skirt. You can make do, that's a mermaid A-line skirt. You can make do with this. The flare will not be that much. But we are going to be working further on this. So to make to make us have more flame. So let me do that and show you. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be using spread, cut and spread method here so that we'll be able to get more flame. And when you're doing uh, cut and uh, flare out, cut and spread out, you're actually trying to get a flay a, a kind of um, shape on the hem. You're adding more fabric to the, to the length of the, of the skin. That's what it's going to be doing. So let me walk you through that. So here you drop this. We're going to be cutting two lines. As for the front part, to get our spread metal. I hope you are seeing what I'm doing. So from the knee, we're going to be coming in like so. And from this place, you're going to be connecting this like so. So I'll cut this out to, to make you understand what I mean. Who do we have in the building? Spice it all. My girl is here. Welcome, girly. That's my darling, please. You can grab each other, girls. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. See, tomorrow is Christmas. The next tomorrow is Christmas. Home. And your girl is still here walking. Let me take this out so it's easy for you to understand. Spice it up. Stay with me, baby. Ndudim <laughs> Ev, welcome. So we're going to be slashing. This will be the first slash. So slashing is actually doing this. That is actually what you're doing. You're giving more flair to your skirt.
You guys should learn how to do this and buy your machine and start so you know. So this is what you're going to get. Let me trace that out. want to work on a plain um a full front you can fold this and get your pattern out but for me i'm going to be working on it like this so i'm going to be tracing this out I saw a lot of people on. Okay, girl, I trust you. I trust you, Spice. I saw a lot of people <laughs> this Christmas, what they are making for people. What the client gave them versus what they made. Uh, how I wish I can share with you a picture that made me want to share this tutorial. <laughs> you can't imagine what I saw. And so that was what prompted me to make this tutorial. A lot of designers need to come in here and see how to make this so they stop disappointing their clients. So as you can see how this is already looking so gorgeous. Let me drop all the details. This is a dart. This is the hip line. And this is our knee length. So like I told you, there is no sewing allowance added to this. You, if you want to sew it, if you want to add um, um, allowance to this, it depends on what you want to do. You can add one and a half inches and add one inch allowance to the side seam and add half inch allowance to the, to the waist. But for me, I'm going to be leaving this here like so, and we're going to be working at the back. So let me turn, let me turn this this way, so that we'll be able to work on the back, our back pattern.
not sure this paper will be enough for us, so I am going to be adding more paper to this. You can imagine if this is my fabric, this whole table will not take this. For a designer, you always need a large table. It makes your work so easy. So you, you have to tape this to join your paper. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So the next thing we're going to be doing is the same thing we did there. We're going to be doing it here at the back. So let me also bring you to understand this. This is the zip side. That is the center back where you have your seats, zip. And this is the side, the side seam. So again, we're going to be dropping this. Okay. So we are going to be cutting this again and we're going to be slashing it. You have to pay attention here. Okay, we are going to have actually have two lines here so that we we'll have very full flare. The back needs to be fully flared out.
line, we'll have we'll keep it straight so that we we'll get get the guy to our skirt. So let me just hold this down. Flashing like so. You have to pay attention here. Now I remember this is where this ended. So I'm going to be showing you something. This ended here. Remember. But I'm going to be showing you. I hope you can see my line. Yeah. So now. Let me trace this. Now, what you're going to be doing here is you're going to be coming this way. You're going to be coming this way. And you come get somewhere here like so. You're not going to be stopping that anymore. You're going to be coming somewhere there. As you can see, you will see that we're having a curve, a circular curve already. So uh, that's how we're going to be going from the back. And if you can see, we have added more length to the back. If you don't do it like this, your tail will never come out so nice. So I'm going to be showing you when I add the front to it, let me trace out my dart. I'm dressed for a client. Ever since then, I, 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 can't, I, I can't run, I can't, I can't even, <laughs> the customers will let me rest.
you see how cool this is already? Can you see? Can you see this? Oh, I'm not sure you can see. Let me make you see this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let me initially this stopped here, but we kept up, we had to take it down to make our tail more visible. So you're going to be connecting it like so. This is a very, very full play, trust me. I want to cut out the front part and show you something. the front part. Imagine when you do this like so. If this was to be fabric, this will join to this place. If you can see, you have a very nice circular shape. With this shape, this can be 320 circular shape. See how nice it's looking. You add this to this. So you go ahead and use this. You cut this out from your fabric. This is the front part. And this is the back. So all you do is you cut this out from the fabric. For this, I am just showing you the tutorial on how to make this mammoth skirt. In my next video, I'll be showing you how you cut it out from your fabric and join it. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so down below. Please grab each other, guys. Oh, let me. What did you say? The kiss cosplay dress. Blue dress. I I don't get you, Jesse. I don't get what you mean by that. Casey, if you can, um, oh, Jesse, if you can write what you mean, I don't get what you mean by this. Please grab each other, guys. 
Spicy Top is a good, she's a genuine YouTuber. So just grab, grab, <laughs> grab Spicy Top. She will return. I'm, I'm sure of that. Spicy Top is still here and do, and do me. She's still here. Grab her. I think I have to see this from computer so that I'll be able to Thanks you guys. To my YouTube family. Welcome to my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Lot. Tell me, let me take you back. Are you still here, Ndudim? Ndumi. <laughs> Ndumi. If you are still here, let me know and let me take you. I can walk you back. Stay here with me. Yeah, so don't forget to thumbs up for the host. So spice it up. Thank you very much. 
Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. God bless. Please, thumbs up for me, oh. Thumbs up, guys. Yeah, I think there's there's no more questions. I think I have to end it now. Oh, oh, oh give me part of the dinner. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh my girl. <laughs> There's no other person here, so I think I don't want to sleep, but um um maybe another day I'll I'll finish up with the with the sewing. Let me stop here for today and continue later on how to join everything, how to sew it and join it, and the outcome. <laughs> My girl, I don't have fabric to cut this out, that's why. Okay. I don't have fabric to cut this out. I would have loved to cut this out. Thanks, darling. Thanks, darling. This is the first time. This time it will be a better one. And it will be longer. Detailed and all that. Thank you very much, my love. Okay. Bye. I'll, I'll chat you up now, right away. Whatever you're cooking, I'll eat out of it. Bye.